Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking With Me, and I just wanted to let you know that my Winging It, E's Winging It Wednesday will be Brooklyn's video. So I am going to edit her video and get that up for you guys, and that will be the video for today. And I, I should have already had this up because it was a 4th of July gift to you guys, and guess what? Nene failed. <laughs> a big Nene fail. But this is what she made for you guys. She shows you how everything is made and all of that. And she wanted to give each one of you a 4th of July card this way. That's the only way she can. So she wanted to present that to you guys. And like I said, Nene failed. I didn't get it up before the 4th. But I am going to put it up now so that you guys can enjoy it. She is, she's my sweet youngest granddaughter for anybody who does not know. And um, she loves to do videos on YouTube. She's got her own little YouTube channel and I'll link it below. She still hasn't got a lot of videos up on that yet because they've been going a lot with the singing group and that kind of thing. So she's still working on that, but she's got a few up. So I will link that below so you guys can go over and check it out. But here is Miss Brooklyn. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I have just been at my house making some videos on my YouTube, my new YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to be making a little postcard for the 4th of July. And this is all you need for it. So I'm using this blue, dark, kind of dark blue or navy blue cardstock. And this red cardstock and then right here we have this scrapbook and I just tried to find one that had 4th of July kind of theme and right here we have some stars which I might use that in it and there's just the theme in this scrapbook is circus but I'm going to use the ones that look more for the 4th of July in it. So, you don't have to have the exact same scrapbook. Um, if you have it, if you have it, it's called All Things Circus. That's what it looks like. And I'm, I'm just going to try to go through here and find some um, scrap, pa scrap paper. And then the tools we're going to be using is this trim. Um, probably not using the yellowish tan kind of color. But I'm probably going to make a. I'm probably going to use the white trim. And then also I have these scissors right here. These are pretty sharp. So if your kid is trying to make this, you need e either adult supervision or safety scissors. Next I have this um, tool. What I'm going to use it for is when, I, when we're gluing down paper I'm just going to smooth it out so it stays on better. You can get this in uh, scrapbooking with me shop. I forgot what the name is. I'll have to ask my nanny. So another thing I have here is this white pen for writing the 4th of July on it. You can also get this from Scrapbooking With Me Shop. I, I can't really read what the name, the brand is, but I think it's this way. Okay. And then I have a photo glue stick that I'm going to be using to glue down with. Okay, let's get right into it. That's all the tools you need and the paper. So first, I'm prob I think I'm going to take blue first. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out about um, about I don't really know how to measure that, but just do as big as a card you think will go. Or, um, tell them, Nene's sorry for making so much noise. 
<laughs> Manny said she's a, she's sorry for making so much noise. And then I'm going to cut like that much. I'm gonna make a pretty big slack rectangle or so. Lining it up so I get it pretty big. And since it's kind of uneven, I'm just gonna trim that out a little bit. Okay, that's better. We're just gonna put the blue aside and maybe we'll use it later. So now you've got a big blue rectangle. Now you're gonna take your red star card stock and make a smaller square so it fits, so like the blue's a frame. I'm gonna measure it out. I'm just going to cut a tiny little bit right there. Now I just cut straight across. Let's kind of make this a little smaller because it's uneven on the edges. It'd probably be a little bit easier if I had one of those uh, big boards that cut, cut scrap of paper. But this is what we're doing. So. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller just to make it look even. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now we are just going to glue this on. So take your photo glue stick if you don't have one of these, it should be at scrapbooking, scrapbookingwithme.com shop. I'm just putting some glue on it. down on the blue piece of paper to where it looks like the blue is in a frame. <coughs> Mine isn't very perfect and it doesn't have to be. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll through this little scrapbook and see what I can find. got to what I want to. I'm going to use some of this right here. It's gray stars and just a white background. We need, we need to make it a little bit small because that's what our little uh, postcard looks like. So we've got a little bit on this, on the back, but it's fine. We just have to ignore that and we're just going to glue it on that side. Now I'm just going to take this little paper that I cut out of the scrapbook 
and glue it on. I'm just gonna glue that on the little corner right there. I'm not gonna cover up much because if I do that, then it'll cover up the whole red part. So, I'm just gonna put like one more little piece in this corner up here probably. I picked this little peachy pink kind of checkered glue. Just cutting out a little corner piece. All right, I'm gonna put the scrapbook aside. And then I just got this little piece. Put some glue down, and then a piece of paper. There we go. And then I have a little bit of an idea. I'm gonna get a stamp and a and maybe some dark red ink or dark blue ink all right i got mine i got a stamp and a stamp pad dark blue it's faded jeans that's another color what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take this little stamp here just barely kind of stamp it in there and put it on the edges of this red piece of paper. Put some blue on the sides. And then I'm going to cut. I'm gonna put the cat back on the glue stick so it doesn't dry out. Um, let me see. I think we'll start putting on the trim. So I have a little needle sticking in here. Be careful if there if there's kids making this. Have adult supervision. I'm just gonna measure it out. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna cut it off. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna cut off a little bit sides, but then that's it. And then I might just cut off the top a little bit because I want it to be smaller. It ruins the kind of frame, but it's fine. I'll just do it like that. Oh, there's a fun on me. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna take my fabric tack here. Is this meant for fabric? Like trim? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just making sure. I'm just trying to get the extra glue off that's not allowing it to come out. I'm just gonna dot it on the blue frame here at the top and I'm gonna glue it like that okay 
we got it glued on and we'll let it dry while we finish. I'm gonna cut. We do the same thing with the trim. Over again. There you go. And then same thing with the top, we cut it off. And we cut off a little bit of the sides. I cut off a little too much, but that's okay because we still have to put some on this, these sides. Put some down here below, like we did with the top. And you can cut some on this left side. And we take our trim. There we go. And then last piece of, of trim that I'm going to put on. Just going to put it on the left, sorry, the right. There we go. Okay, now we finished all the trim. I'm just going to put the cap back on on this fabric, fabric cap. And scoot all the scraps aside. I'm just going to put the needle back into the trim. Like so. This side of the trim just came off, so I'm going to re glue that. I think I just didn't glue it good enough. take this thing and what's the name of this it's a bum folder it's a uh, one that don't hurt your wrist so then i have to use that what is it called again bone folder bone folder mm -hmm. this is a bone folder you can find it in scrapbooking with me shops and it just helps so, so you don't hurt your wrist This is my nanny's, one of my nanny's favorite things in the shop right now. Okay, and I have finished that. I'm just going to go over this and make sure it stays on. The last thing we need to do for this is take the white pen and all we're going to do is write 4th of July. Well, happy 4th of July. Thank 
can you can barely see the H right here, but it's there. Happy fourth. Um and then just for decoration on the writing I'm putting dots on each ends of the wording I'm just going to do this quick And that's it for this postcard. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.